Hi, this is Aimee, and I just wanted to quickly show you how to very easily filter any Gmail account so that your stuff is somewhat organized. In Gmail, um, accounts or folders are called labels, okay? And here's some of my labels right now. And basically what you want to do is you want to identify the things that are important to you and that you might want to um, come back to later, okay? For example, let's say um, Soren here, you want to make sure that you read his information later. So what you want to do, you select the email, just one of them, you click on more actions and you want to filter messages like these. So then what uh, Gmail is going to do is going to grab all the emails by Soren and uh, it's going to say, okay, what do you want to do with all the emails from this person? Okay, you can filter it further by even taking that out and making it by subject. Um, I recommend um, that you filter them by the person who sent them to you because that will grab everything and not just a particular um, subject that he's focusing on for that uh, email. So um, you can go over here, click on next step, and now here's where you're going to assign a label. So I always say to skip the inbox. I want to make sure that my inbox are things that are either new or spam because that way I know that I can just ignore them if I need to. You want to leave this unmarked because you want to make sure that when you go back to that folder you're only reading the ones that you haven't read yet. Uh, you can start if you want to, if it's a favorite, you can start it so you can go back to it later and you want to apply a label which is assign it to a folder. And to apply a label, I'm going to create a new one because I don't have one for Soren yet and you can give it whatever name you want. I'm just going to give it his name. And say okay. And um, I'm going to say don't send it to spam, just kind of keep it on his folder. And oh, by the way, I have 11 messages from him. Go ahead and apply that filter to all of those, which means that it's going to grab every single email that I have in my, in my inbox for Soren and it's going to put him in a folder. So then click Create Filter. Okay, the filter's been created. So now if I go over here to my folders, you'll see Soren and all of his information here. Okay, all of the emails that I've received from him. You can do that with every email that is important to you, with every newsletter. For example, if you signed up to receive my newsletters, the first newsletter that you receive from me, you can apply a filter by my name. Everything that comes in from me, you can put it in a folder. I don't expect you to open and apply everything that you get every time you get it from me because I understand that you're busy and you have things to do, but you can always go back to my folder later and make sure that you dedicate time to apply the things that you learn not just from me but from anybody because that's the only way that you're going to be able to make a difference is if you learn something and you apply it right away so before you go into any emails to a do any training, ensure that you have time to apply it. So um, you can go back to your inbox by clicking inbox here and take a look at all the other emails on your inbox and then start um, organizing yourself that way. So that's one quick way to get organized. I know that the other um, email companies have uh, their own organization um, also, and uh, I just find Gmail a little bit easier to use, a little bit easier to maintain, and um, it seems to be a little more accepted.